and welcome back to another exciting part of Rule of Rose. I'm your host, Soul Gig. I'm Lucas Ferry. Okay, so we've got to go, and like I said before we ended last time, we've got to go find the other half of the news article, which is hidden somewhere. Luckily, he, Brown, is not down for the count. Or we might be in trouble. We might have been in trouble. Uh, the only way Brown can get health is through different types of healing items. Uh, animal bones and something else. I've actually found animal bones before. If you actually search the feather before, because I just dropped it off screen. Uh, if you search for it before, you can find some animal bones. No, oh, look, it's Martha's body. body. Eh. July 1930, Daily Flemings. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from wife's bank account. Okay, now the code is a deduction. Uh, yeah. So he's, he borrowed, I think it was 90. So then you just gotta do a simple calculation. Like I said, Perfect. nothing. What, what was the total? Like 300? 365. 3065. He borrowed 90. In total? Mm hmm. That's adding both of those together. And the amount is. Two. Oh, I should have gone around the other way. Seven. And a good old five. But there's another box. Huh? Alone. And we're back here. But there's something here that wasn't there before. A slip of papers beneath the clothing. The moral, everlasting happiness.
So we could just see the the book again, but there was a torn out page at the end. The moral everlasting happiness is a joke. Lovable moral. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. Everlasting. Would you like to save? I guess. That just means someone tore it out because they believed that was wrong, maybe. I don't know. Seems strange. And Seems we're back Seems a strange here. thing to tear out. Oh look, it's sunshine. Good morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? No. Hmm, I see. You remember one of them. But that's still not good enough. You're such a silly girl. Ugh. Sexist. Hurry, hurry. Read the story, Jennifer. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two books left. We're gonna s go with the middle one. All right. Jennifer found the Goat Sisters. The right. Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter, ba ba. Big sister munched it up, ba ba. What? A Little sister studied her notes, ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds, ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the letter to, ba ba? Yeah, kind of gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> big sister had it coming. <laughs> Rooting for that underdog, huh? No, I just don't like jerks. <laughs> September 1930. The Goat Sisters. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the wise-looking princess was in the room. The princess said softly, hmm. It's not here either. If someone else finds it, there must be something very important to you. Why don't you go find it? If we go over here, there's something. Jennifer found lollipop. Mmm, lollipops. Actually, I think we can get, yeah, we don't need the news article anymore. We don't need the ghost sisters. Uh, goat sisters. I was about to say something else. I don't know what, but I was going to say it wrong. Oh, there's something else. What is it? Jennifer found Meg's pencil. The name Meg is written on the pencil. Okay, well, I guess that's what we'll use to track down the rest. There are actually three items to find. Uh, this chapter is... A tad bit harder because there are battles you have to go through. Oh, come on. I want that lollipop. I can see it's a lollipop because I can see it's model. Barely. No! Oh, okay. He turned around. I saw him going that way. What the hell, Brown? Sector 14 storage. Good lord. We're all the way over here. What do we got? Oh yeah, Brown always gets stuck there. It is like the weirdest glitch. It's not really bad. Jennifer found Aristocrat Page. The Red Crayon Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. Go. Okay, found one. 
Onwards for the others. Sector 13 lift. We've been here before. I can't find it anywhere. And there's the next piece. Actually, these are not hidden items, so you could find them exploring on your own. Stray Dog's Notes The following are notes on the monster stray dog, as described to us by the beautiful Princess of the Rose. He's big, strong, scarred, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current tasks, stray dog investigation, first floor restroom. Gather notes from r rumors scribbled on, the, on walls assigned to Susan. So if you want, you can actually uh, drop one of the pages. We don't need it at the moment. Go! And off we go to find another one. <laughs> but hey, it's background stuff, so it's a little better than the last chapter. The Birdie of Happiness. Actually, if you've noticed, I've kept the ribbon. I'm hoping later on off screen I can go and try to search for some chocolate since we all know how good that is. <laughs> ah, this. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to... There, I should have done that before. Okay. Actually, if you want to, you can go pick up the ice pick. The ice pick has a higher attack power than the pipe, but has a much smaller attack range. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. But yeah, like, I can drop the kitchen knife now. Jennifer found love letter. Oh, Diana, Diana, I love you with all my heart, Meg. And then we get locked in with a goat monster coming in here. Luckily, the goat monster isn't really hard. One-on-one, -on -one, these guys are just easy. Now, we are going to meet others that are not so easy. Okay, so the door became unlocked. So let's leave. So I'm debating if I want to use the ice pick. The ice pick, like I said, does have a higher attack. I'm just not sure if I'm going to regret it because it's got a very much shorter... Oh, okay, good. We can drop that. We can unequip this. But we can find with this. Okay. Go. Off. Wherever this shall lead us. Do, 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 do. Sector 13 light? Lift. Yeah. Lift. Yeah, that's the place where we went up to the top to see Amanda. All the way back. And she is dead, maybe. No, she's alive. She, she might be dead. Going all the way back to Sector 14. Hmm. The strong-willed princess and the cold princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened quietly. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And ripped it in half. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even look at it. <sighs> I see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? So, Brown finds us. Jennifer found Meg's notebook. Oh. Margaret's little book, Meg. 
Chapters, The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Club Manners, Meg's Invention Corner, Findings on the Land of the Imps. The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 1, Curtsy. Aristocrat ma Manners, Lesson 2, Hosting. Words of the Princess of the Rose, which we already heard. Meg's Invention Corner, Torture Chair, Spinning Chair. Torture Bag. <laughs> Sa song for an onion. Onion bag. Secrets of the land of... Playroom. Following the popularity of airships, the orphanage built several... And that's it. Okay, so we can actually... Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Yeah. Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need you to go find it. You... you tore it. Oh, Diana, Diana, wherefore art thou? It seems to be a love letter meant for a Diana, but it is torn and impossible to read. Jennifer found torn letter. So obviously we've got to go and... No, not what I wanted to do. we got to go and find it. Sadly... She tore it in half. She was the one. Yep. <laughs> okay, but we're going to end the part here. We will see you next part. See you guys.